Welcome, my name is Jay Yoakum, Field Service Engineer, and today we're going to be working with the GCP 4000 system. What we're going to do today is we're going to pull a sear log with a laptop. What you're going to need is a laptop, straight serial cable, and some emulation software, uh, HyperTerminal, TerraTerm, Procom Plus, Putty, or something of that nature. To get started, what you'll need to do is to connect your serial cable to the serial port labeled user on the front of the SEER unit. Okay, we'll want to open up HyperTerminal. Uh, cancel out of this, I have a connection saved, so I'll just click Open. Click on SEER2i. Control L pulls up the main menu. Uh, now we'll want to hit B for reports. Want to hit A for a standard report. If you wanted a different type of report, you would just follow that, new, that, uh, that letter. Hit A. It's going to open and resort to the last 24 hours. For today's exercise, that is completely acceptable. But if you had a target date that you wanted to go back to, say somebody called in and said the system did or didn't do what it was supposed to do, you could plug in that date right here. So we we'll just hit enter. Hit enter, enter, enter. Now it's asking if you want to do it on screen or if you want to print capture. For me, it's easiest to print capture. So select print capture, hit enter. Now it's asking to enable text capturing. What you need to do is come up here and click transfer, capture text, and this is where you're gonna save the file to. So you would click on browse where you want it. Uh, desktop and we'll just lay this one right on the desktop. Now we created a folder called sear 2 ilog Open that and what do we want to name it? And this is a text file. Save. Now we want to click start. Hit any key which for me is the spacebar. Now it's asking us to disable text capturing, then hit any key, and this is very important to do this. So you'll come up to transfer, capture text, stop. Okay, now we'll want to go and open the folder and look at our log. And there's our SEER 2 i log. Now, something that may be beneficial when you're looking for something, uh, let's say uh, the power off or the power on light, you were looking for an issue with that. Just come in here and click edit and hit find next. Okay, and there you have a dialog box. Just come in and I do a copy paste because the text is very important. So just highlight that, right click, copy, click into the box, right click, and hit paste. Now hit find next. So now it jumps right to anywhere in the log that it says power off. That's a good way to search for things in the log without having to look at every single line of data. And that's how we pull a SEER log. If you have any questions about what we've covered today, please give us a call at 1-800-793-7233 and push one for technical support. Thank you very much.